Hi everyone, hey welcome guys. to the vlog. Welcome to this week's vlog. Uh, we want to give you a few updates about uh, some recent topics that we've been... Hey, there's a dog here as well. You don't see? Let me show you. Turn it around. Hi. Where's the ball, man? Uh, so, there you go. Back to business. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the most exciting uh, vlog. So there's a few things that we want to update you on following up from last week's vlog. First of all, you saw that in the last week's vlog I was wearing a shirt which is uh, which we're not selling at the moment but it was made from biodegradable fabrics and we wanted to test that out and see how it performs. So I've been wearing it a few times. Quite you speak, I'm gonna, the, the wind is blowing our equipment away. <laughs> Quite windy in Amsterdam. That's the kind of things we have um, to do. Yeah, so I uh, want to give you an update on the on that fabric because uh, I quite liked it and Marine also quite likes it and the way it looks and the way it feels. So we might be giving that a shot uh, in our next collection and uh, we need to also speak with our manufacturing partners and see the, the technology behind that, the possibilities, the properties and uh, whether we can uh, implement that mm -hmm. in, a, in a future shirt project. Uh, so that's uh, something that's going to be... Uh, on our to-do list and we'll give you of course a, a detailed explanation on that fabric once we get to know more about it as well yeah to, to to make a polo shirt and not a dress shirt directly out of that is an interesting choice you heard, see, it. heard it first on the on the vlog yeah uh, because uh, one of the things that um, you we realize as the business is going and going and going is that selling a dress shirt online especially when you're an unknown brand and all these new properties that we're adding, uh, it includes a lot of variables. And uh, for people who actually wear dress shirts, uh, factors like collars, like uh, cuffs, sleeves, uh, fits, all of that uh, makes a big uh, impact and adds a lot of variables uh, for us that to communicate online and to make sure everybody finds what they like and that we offer what uh, people need. Uh, it's quite hard, whereas with a polo shirt there's slightly less variables, it's easier, or a t-shirt, there's less variables and it's easier to make uh, a more uniform product that, that uh, fits easily, there's less things that can go wrong or people may subjectively uh, don't like. And uh, I think it also opens up opportunity to cover these warmer seasons. Yeah. Because you know from experience, wearing a dress shirt when uh, it's really warm, no matter how performant the fabric is, is not always uh, doesn't always feel as nice as uh, just a very light uh, polo or a short sleeve. Yeah, apparel, yeah. Because I mean, the best you can do is roll up the sleeves, but then that kind of covers all the airflow. Uh, so for the hot summer that we had in Amsterdam, we we realized that a dress shirt, whatever it, it is, like you said, even if it's as performant. As I was, I, it's not the best uh, best clothing item. Yeah. Uh, so we've been thinking a lot about that, making a polo shirt, and especially we want to do with those fabrics. Uh, so we need to do our research and whether we can do it and uh, whether it's going to be a good product. So that's going to be something that we'll be discussing with our manufacturing people. Um, and uh, besides that, uh, there's a few things on Instagram that uh, we kept doing is engaging people. And I've seen, if, I've just started a conversation with a few people that are growing their accounts quite fast and just uh, asked them around, uh, how are they doing that? And all the answers pointed back to f Instagram ads, uh, both in the feed and in our swipe up on the story. So it's, uh, it's something that we're probably gonna give it a shot in two, three days with very small budgets to just test it out because it's something that we haven't tested out on our uh, pretty much on our let's say documenting content we've been doing that just pushing shirts but maybe the quotes that we have or some videos from the podcast might be appropriate for that type of content is that boosting involved through the boosting system within Instagram or is it like creating special ads on on Instagram through the Facebook advertising tool yeah so the the feed boosting thing is from Instagram. Instagram right and the okay. story swipe up is from uh, from the Facebook ads manager because you have to make that creative mm -hmm. uh, so those th types of ads will be running in the next few days just very small budget seeing if, if it has any impact 
because uh, I think our execution has been historically bad at that. I don't know if we've improved, but some people seem to be having success with it, so that kind of makes us uh, kind of obliged to at least give it another go. Yeah. Well, that depends a lot on the objectives True. that you have, uh, the Very product true. that you have, and what your what your goal is from all that. Yeah. True. So that's why we'll do more of the kind of the branding content instead of uh, transactional shirt content. Uh, and uh, that's a little Instagram update. The engagement on Instagram has been uh, going strong. The tactic that we've mentioned in the previous few vlogs uh, has been quite uh, quite successful. So we're keeping that up, and uh, we managed to to book a few podcasts through it as well. Be ourselves well guests on a podcast. So I think it's got. I think mentioned in the slog that it's uh, it's had a few positive side effects besides just engagement and followers. And uh, I think that's about solid it. Solid update. I think that's a solid update. And uh, if you guys want to hear something more about our process or anything that you would find useful for us to share with you, please drop it in a comment, email us, anyway. You can reach us, just let us know, and uh, we'll be happy to adapt that into or introduce that in our content. See you next time. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey guys, in our improvised studio here. If you enjoy this content, subscribe, like, share, comment. Just tell someone. Share our journey.